Good morning, my friends. How are you today? It's Anita Kaiser from Anita Kaiser Wellness. Thanks for joining me. If you're checking out the replay, let me know with hashtag replay. So on a webinar I ran recently, somebody asked a really powerful question. And I wanted to share this with you today because I know for myself, I have spent a lot of time feeling this deep sadness. And of course, I have my own trauma that I've worked through. And some of that sadness initially was about my own experience. But what I've noticed is that there is, as an empath, we are tapped in to far more than our own sadness. There is a collective sadness that has come up through a lot of my clients and I've started to notice that we're all feeling this deep collective sadness. And so I believe 100% that as empaths, we've come here with a mission to clear the, the lineage in our own personal family of origin, to clear the trauma and stop whatever pain and sadness has come down the pipe to stop it from going forward. I think that that is definitely one of the empath commitments. And this takes immense courage right? It takes immense courage for us to first look at our own trauma, because sometimes it's a real shit show in there. I know. It's painful and hard to address. But healing that means we can step further into the light. And as we step further into the light, it means we can shine that light for others. So in terms of healing and, and stopping this sadness that so many of us are feeling, especially as we go out into the world, right? When I'm sitting at home doing my work in my own environment or out in the forest or whatever, it's not so bad. But if I go you know, to the mall or to the movies or to a, a big social event, I leave and I can really, really feel that sadness. So the best and most amazing tool I can give you as an empath to stop yourself from absorbing all that sadness is to shield yourself. And it's just a matter of taking that time and committing to drawing that bubble around you. And so... I would recommend a white or a golden light. And in Judith Orloff's book, The Empath Survival Guide, she recommends five minutes. And of course, if you have five minutes, five minutes is the ultimate. That's a beautiful time frame to really connect in and envision that bubble around you. And the beauty of these bubbles is that they can stop the toxicity and the sadness and the pain from coming in, but you can still be open to the goodness and to the love that is out there. So five minutes is ideal if you have that. But I really honestly believe intention is everything. And so if you're sitting in your car, you know you have to go into some situation and you only have a minute or two, if you really commit to drawing this bubble, I think you can do it in a shorter period of time. And the more often you practice this, the faster you're going to be able to do this, right? And this bubble is above, and below, in front, behind, and beside. So just taking that time and really getting present with that bubble. So I thought now, initially I was actually going to do some tapping with you, but I feel like you could benefit 
more from having this experience of drawing this bubble together. So that in case you're unfamiliar with this, you have sort of a framework to work with. So I'm just going to ask you to sit up nice and tall. Get your feet flat on the ground. Ideally, you want, you know, socks or bare feet. You don't want to be wearing shoes for this. That's the best case scenario. And so taking your feet, rolling them around on the floor, the balls of the feet, connecting those earth chakras down into the earth. Sitting up, maybe wiggling your bum around in your chair, and taking your hands and placing them on your heart. Closing your eyes and beginning to connect in with your breath. In an ideal world, you're breathing in and out through your nose. If that's not available to you at this time, taking an in breath through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and just continuing nice slow deep breaths allowing yourself to become really present here in this moment with your physical body and once you feel that sense of calm, you're grounded, you're here in the present moment, then choose your color, whether it be golden or white, and begin to envision that bubble of protection. For me, it always starts sort of out from my third eye, this space in between my eyebrows, the center of our intuition. I always feel my bubble beginning there. You might feel it somewhere else, wherever you feel it is absolutely perfect. So drawing that bubble, maybe, you know, three or four feet out, or maybe not quite that far, sorry, three or four feet might be too far, but whatever distance, you know, a little bit away from your body, drawing it away from your body. And then I like to imagine it going up over my head, down my back, nice and slow, filling that up, goes all the way down to my feet, past my feet and then pulling that bubble all the way up in front again and once I come to the top sending it out over the right side bubbling it up on the right side allowing it to come down towards the earth once again under my feet and then up the left side of my body feeling this bubble all around feeling that sense of safety that sense of warmth that protection clear beautiful energy wrapped around you, keeping you safe and solid throughout your day. Taking a few more rounds of deep inhale and deep exhale here. Presence, awareness, in the moment and then when you feel ready slowly coming back opening your eyes releasing your hands and feeling calm safe and protected so you can do this bubbling shielding anytime 
you know you're going to have some interactions. And you can also do it, you know, if you're in a scenario where all of a sudden you're starting to feel yuck, ick, something's not right, something feels off, just take a moment and whip that bubble up. It doesn't have to be this kind of meditation, just the intention of pure protection. So I'd love to know how that feels for you. I'd love to know if you have any questions. Let me know, comment, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, my friends.